and Happy New Year. I'm Joe Galley, and on this very special year in review, we're taking a look back at the benchmark moments of 2021. We really made history this year, and we're poised to continue to have the most competitive matches and monumental moments in the sport of professional wrestling in the years to come. Arguably, one of the biggest feuds of the previous year was between Nick Aldis and Trevor Murdoch. And the St. Louis natives' rise to the world's heavyweight championship really started with this battle royale on NWA Power this past May. Take a look. But this is about Chris Adonis showing that he has loyalty to strictly business and he's happy to relinquish the national title in exchange for doing his duty. Here we go. Here we go. That's a lot of humanity in that. Look at the beef in there, man. Interesting thing to remember here. You touch the floor, you're out. Doesn't matter if you go over the top rope or not. Sal Renaro is in the danger zone right. swinging. Oh, he's out. He's out. His foot touched. All it takes is one right. touch of the foot. Sayonara, Sal Renaro. Nick, it's a ballroom brawl, baby. No rules. Let's beat each other up. Right. Get on. Somebody get on Murdoch. Get on Murdoch right now. I'm all for it. Come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. Let's do it. Take that hillbilly out. Get that hillbilly out of there. Come on, Chris. Wait a minute. Fight back. Come on, Chris. Is that Tyrus out? Well, wait a minute. Is that Look at that. No, no, that's Paro. That's the end. So much look. confusion, everything's that's happening it. here. That's it, Tom. Jeremiah Plunkett has that's been it, eliminated. Tom. Get on that redneck disgrace. Hang Take in there, Tyrus. Out. Hang in there, Tyrus. They're double teaming my man. They're double teaming my There we go. Ugh. Looks like you guys have very different motivations as who you want to see win this match there right here. Hey, look, who? It's, just, it's just a matter of time before either Tom Latimer or Chris Adonis walks away as the number one contender, and then we'll have but a lovely contest shot, for the Austin world's champion. But obviously wants Tyrus to win this thing. Don't start stirring the pot, Joe Galley. I'm not stirring the pot. Be patient, Galley. Be patient, Jackson. You know what? I don't even care if Tyrus wins it. I'll take on Tyrus. I'll take him out just like I did everybody else. Minute, the only person I don't straight. want, I don't want that redneck disgrace, Trevor Murdoch, anywhere near a Wales Championship match. Mims has been eliminated. We're calling him a redneck. Get on, Murdoch. Looks like we've got 10 men left in this ring. Come on, Tom. Stop messing about with that ham Tyrus. sandwich and go take out Murdoch. Tyrus. You seem pretty fixated on Trevor Murdoch. I mean, you've got a lot of uh, Trevor Murdoch here. disrespected me, and he disrespected the NWA. He thinks he can. He thinks he thinks that a guy like him, a guy like him, gets to be the world's champion. Gets to even be considered to be world's champion. Can you imagine Trevor Murdoch going and doing media appearances? Can you imagine Trevor Murdoch doing pictures being, with the being kids? Being a man of the people, a champion Shut of up, the people. Can, can, can you imagine? Can you imagine Trevor Murdoch who doesn't look like Nick Aldis? They could live their dream and become to, a world champion. Hey, you only get to be a world champion if you like Nick Aldis. That's the point, Joe Galli. And Not if you like Trevor Murdoch. Nick, there's a difference between a world champ and a world chump. Right. And you're looking at a world chump in Murdoch. You're looking at a world champ over here. The size of Murdoch's heart. He is anything but a chump. We got another elimination on the side. Look at him back. Look at him Didn't back. Didn't quite see who it was. After Tyrus. He's There's so stabbing. much going on here. Like, look, look how many times, how many times everyone has to double team on Tom Latimer. It's the only way that they can and get Rocket him down. And has been eliminated. That's it. That's it, Crimson. Ooh, another big back rank on Trevor Murdoch. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah go out. for it. Yeah, okay. I'm all right get with it. Out. I'm all right with that. Get Just him get him out! Dig in there! Dig him in there! Dig him in there! Tom's taking a rest. Rip his eyes Tom's out! Tom's over there taking a rest. He's smart. He's learned well. He's strictly business. You've got to have everything to be in strictly business. You got look at Tom Latimer. What a thoroughbred. You gotta have size, you gotta have speed, you gotta have ability, and you gotta have brains. And that's why Tom Lapp is in there. That's why he's gonna walk out as the number one contender. Oh, Jordan Clearwater been eliminated by Tyrus. Let me ask you something, Joe. Can you imagine the clinic that Tom Latimer and I would put on in a in a wrestling contest for the world's heavyweight championship? Can you imagine I, what I, a clinic that I, would I be? I can't imagine that. That's can, the kind of thing you wanna lead the NWA forward with. That's the kind of matchup that makes sponsors, that makes networks, that makes media executives go, that's the real deal in professional wrestling. Not some beer swilling, fat, flabby, pasty Trevor Murdoch who's over there cheating to stay in the ring. Look at that. Look Crimson at that has maneuver. been eliminated from this matchup. It is starting to thin out here. Oh yeah, we got a little breathing room. Get on Murdoch. Stay out. We got breathing room. 
Look at my man! It's like Chop Boogie down. set under the bottom rope. He has Come on, boys, get it together. And we're down to five. I can't believe Matt Cross is still in there. That's a I can. To, that's a testament to his ability. That's right. Yes, it is. He's a hey, partner. I'll take nothing away from Matt Cross, but I'm just saying in a battle royal, He's size matters. On, what I tell you, Joe Galley, oh, don't ever question the, the world's champion. Here we go, final four. Think, use your heads, boys. Use your brains. Use your brains. Get rid of Murdoch. Take him out. Trevor Murdoch well, we got, got a 30 day suspension. Get that sack of crap out of my ring. Wait, what's Pope doing? Where's there's the Pope? What is, it? What is he a doing? A Hold on. Wait a minute. He's pulling out Tyrus. What is he no, doing? No, 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 no. Tyrus no, no, has been eliminated no, by Pope. No, 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 no. That can't be, that's, a, that's illegal. It, it, the only all right, all right, all right. Settle floor. down, settle down. Don't worry about that. We don't want Tyrus there anyway. Idol has completely lost it. But right, don't worry about Idol. He'll take his meds and he'll be just fine. Get on, Murdoch. Come on, boys. What'd I tell you? One of these three men will face Nick no, on the one of these, One road. of these two men. Murdoch is all One man. of these two men. Tom Latimer or Chris Adonis is going to walk away as a number one contender. And I'd be proud to share the ring with either one of them as the challenger. There's only one that I would be absolutely dismayed to share the ring with in a world championship match, and like that's Trevor Murdoch. It almost sounds like you're scared of them. Don't it almost sounds put like words in my it, mouth. That he's got Listen a shot to me. You. I was endorsed by Harley Race, a man who broke Trevor Murdoch in, and I'll tell you this. He didn't follow Harley Race's advice like I did. Clearly. Clearly he didn't follow Harley's example as well as I did because he's not the world's champion he never has been and never will be. Well, he would have remained that yes. original champion if it wasn't for you and the actions of Focus. Strictly Business. Get him out of here. Let's put this to bed and let's go to the rooftop and have a few brewskis. That's Still it. staying on his feet. Oh, there goes oh, Tyler. Come on. No, 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 no. He's, 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 he's all right. That's all right. Chris! Chris! eliminates him! Chris! Murdoch wins! Murdoch wins! Murdoch wins! The winner of the Battle Royal and new number one contender to the NWA World's Heavyweight title, Trevor Murdoch! Chris, Chris. the one man that Nick Aldis did not want to win this match managed to pull it through after all the trials, the tribulations, and the backstabbing by Strictly Business. Trevor Murdoch stands tall. He will main event win in the shadow. When the shadows fall this June 6th, when the shadows fall, Trevor Murdoch will main event going toe to toe with Nick Aldis for the 10 pounds of gold. What an amazing contest. Trevor Murdoch standing tall, going through 13 other. Oh, and there's Nick Aldis attacking from behind. Aldis runs into a back elbow. And this isn't a match, this is a fight. This is a preview of what you can see June 6th, right here on Fight TV. Trevor Murdoch taking it to the champ. Snapmare takedown. The, the champ is reeling. The champ is reeling. He's in the drop zone. Bulldog, bulldog by Trevor Murdoch. If that happens on June 6th, when the shadows fall, we could have a new champion. Reversal, Vol Nelson blocked by the champion. Up onto He's the got shoulders. Him up. Are we gonna see it? Pop! He hit it! Pop! He hit it! He did it! He hit it! He Harley did it. Race! Power driver right in the middle of the ring. He's oh gotta get gosh. him in. He's gotta get him in. He's gotta pull. He's gotta pull all this. And look at his go son. Look Come at his on. son. Tell him go up. Go, go up. up. Go up, Trevor. Hit oh, it. Can he hit it? Can he hit, hit it? it? Come on. Will this be the moment? There it oh is. My God, he there did it. it is. He did it. On. Come on. We have a new champion.
For over 70 years, one name has stood for history, legacy, and tradition in professional wrestling. And the centerpiece of that legacy is the original lineal heavyweight championship of the world. The one that started them all, known to many as the 10 pounds of gold. Now, by popular demand, you can own your very own symbol of excellence as the NWA has teamed up with Fandu Belts to bring you the official replica of the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. This meticulously handcrafted belt is available in two options, the original pre-2021 glory, as well as the revised 2021 version with the UK plate updated by yours truly. Own the granddaddy of them all, the 10 pounds of gold. To order, visit fandubelts.com slash NWA. I love you. These women love you. The NWA loves you. And when I think about the history that has been made inside of these four walls, and for the first time in 37 years, and the first matches to be held in these hallowed halls is women's wrestling. It means a whole hell of a lot. So tonight, this is for every little girl in the back who said, I want to be a professional wrestler and had to work twice as hard for half the respect. To know that you matter, you have arrived, and you were born for this. This is the NWA, and this is in power. One of the highlights for 2021 for the National Wrestling Alliance was the Empower pay-per-view. With executive producer Mickey James in charge, we made history, made new stars, and showed the world women's wrestling empowers all of us. A big star that night, of course, was our NWA Women's World Champion, Camille. She has had a dominant past year, and it really started with this match, where Camille went toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the best wrestlers to ever lace up a pair of boots. Let's take a look back at Camille versus Serena Deeb at Win Our Shadows Fall. I mean, Camille is a brick house, but Serena Deeb is the champ, so it's going to be a really, really interesting matchup and to see the outcome of this match. And Serena Deeb is a technician. Yes. She but Camille is a powerhouse in her own. You got technical versus powerhouse, you know? But two just, different styles. But look at what we're seeing in the ring. Such a size differential between these two. And Camille already trying to get into the head of the champion. Oh, but Serena can hold her own no matter what. That's why she is the champion. And she's been an incredible Ooh, champion. I mean, strong he's holding. lockup by these two ladies. Wow! Oh, wow! Speaking right of strong. The bat. That, that's asserting your authority. Talk about strong. Now you know who you're in the ring with, Serena. Now you know. Camille is making her presence known right off the bat. But here's what I, here's what I would say about Serena Deep. That, that's going to register. That's going to go in the logbook, yeah. and she's going to remember that. That's not going to intimidate her. That's not going to get in her head. She's just going to make a check mark, wow. just like that will. And she's going to mark that off. Okay, what's next? Yeah. Because, like I said, she's a technician. She knows she knows how to defend this women's championship. Serena Deem de defeating Thunder Rosa in Los Angeles, October 27, 2020, holding on to this championship for 223 days. That's an impressive reign. Thunder Rosa holding on for 277. Allison K, 272. Oh, Serena Deem just wrenching the neck of Camille. And look at that. You talk about that experience advantage. But Camille just Camille picking her up and sending her off. Shoulder tackle right, right into the away. cover. She wants to win. Only a one count. Coming off the ropes like that, Serena Deep had the momentum. In, in most cases, you're not going to see the person standing in the middle of the ring right. with that. And, and that, you know, it's a small thing, but that's a thing that you got. Camille just rattled her with that. When you're a smaller woman and you're going up against the likes of someone like Camille, you have to be, you have to kind of break the giant down. You have to be the underdog. You have to be quick. You can't miss a beat, you know? Well, and I'm, surpri I'm surprised that, that Serena finds herself in this position. I know that well, Camille forced herself in that position. She put her hands it right on there. That she was, didn't have a choice. That was not a setup. That was not, let's, let me see who's stronger. That was, I'm going to show you who's stronger. Serena Deeb. Camille may be stronger, but Serena Deeb is quicker. And that's, the, oh. that's what the height advantage. But couldn't even get the drop toe hold. Couldn't even use Camille's a yeah. momentum against her. As, as Serena starts checking these things off, at some point you're going to run out of options. I think. You know, what do you what? What have we not tried? Let's go. 
But look, Serena is she's the woman of a thousand holes. If she can just get out of this situation, get some composure, that technical skill could come into play. And you know, a person lying on the on the canvas is no longer taller than you. You can take advantage at that point. But it's gonna take a lot for her to get there. As Camille comes in, full head of steam, able to witness the deep, see? This is what this is what I mean. She's got the advantage because she's smaller, she's quicker. Vicious Europeans. I mean, those are just precise, wow. right across the collarbone, right into the jaw. Classic textbook, yes. Camille's a little shaken right there. Those, those definitely made, a, made an impact there and got her attention. And look at that great strategy there by Deeb. Let's take some wind out of the sails of Camille. This is exactly what I was talking about earlier when I said when you're going in, when you're in the ring with someone the size of Camille and you're smaller, you have to find your spots to, to just be quick and agile and break her down. And, and, and that's she, exactly if, what we're seeing right if now. If she can hold this, okay. Oh, yeah. If she if, can. If was the major, major word in that sentence. If. That's okay. Serena Deeb is a fighting champion. She will get back to her feet. But Camille, is, I mean, look at her. She's just, she's just chiseled. She's a powerhouse and she's very hungry for the championship. Oh, clubbing blow across the chest. Going for it again here. Oh, oh. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> and here's the thing. I don't think anybody and nobody in the NWA will ever question if Camille is ready for this match as far as, as experience-wise. Camille's been ready for this match. Absolutely. She's been salivating at the chance, just waiting for Serena Deep to return to face her for the Women's Championship. And here she is. Well, she's coming to her own from, from the standpoint of she knows what her strengths are, which is, which is power, which right. is strength. And she's going to stay on that as long oh, as she yeah. possibly can. Yep. And she's going to try to, to wear Serena Deep down. That's and take exactly what she's doing, yep. as we can see right now. Serena Deep is down. Those vicious clubs to the chest. Oh, now the kicks. Those were nasty kicks. Ooh. The back of the heel. She's just breaking the champ down. Ooh, beautiful. Long could be enough. Shoulders down. Could we have a new champion? Two count. Close two count. And look at this. Got a hold of her own. And she is wrenching those. I'm going to tell you, I have been in that submission hold before, and the amount of pressure it puts on your shoulders. I <laughs> well, you can see, you can see Serena fighting. That through hurts, this. guys. That hurts. Oh, oh, man. oh wow. To add that insult will, to injury. Yeah. That will break a collarbone right there. Clubbing blow by Camille. Camille just being relentless in this match, but anything goes when you want to be champ. Anything goes. When, when you when you are this close to yes. a championship yes. like this one, a World NWA Women's Championship, it, it, it a whole Look different level. Look at that! Level. The smile on Camille's face. Well, you could kind of see it coming in the corner. Camille, Camille is starting to. Lower back, a Serena D. Oh my gosh. Camille feels it. Like in the corner, she started she started uh, chattering a little bit out of her eyes. She's feeling it right now. Yep. I mean, she's really picking her entire body up. I was just going after her arms, the her lower back. back, the shoulder, the chest. There's the upper back. She's going yep. after her. Camille definitely knows what she's doing. Oh. Big splash in the corner. Oh collapsing the champion. Camille's taking, I don't know if that's a good idea, but she's taking a minute to enjoy that. She definitely is enjoying it by the looks on her face. And again, she understands. She understands who she is. More she knows her identity as a wrestler, and she is power. And she's going to squeeze the life out of Serena. More Deep pressure right now. on the lower back right now. You can now see it on her face. Yeah, you can see it on Serena Deeb's face. Uh, Serena Deeb's in trouble. Simple and incredibly effective uh, 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 with the bear uh, hug. Wait a but minute. Wait. If anyone knows how to get out of it, it's Deeb. Elbows to the side of the head, but wasn't that a beautiful suplex? Will it be enough? Power. Hooks the it. outside leg. Two. Two count. That is pure power Two. right there, but Serena Deeb is not going down that easy. She's going to fight and fight and fight. I mean, she's had to fight. She's had to fight her entire career. She's had to fight to come back from injury. She represents the National Wrestling Alliance. We know it's so important to her. As it is to any woman who holds on to that championship, holds on to the Burke. Yeah, 
and I'm, right back to it. Wow. Right back to it. And his male G is mostly dominant in this yeah. match. No. What is it going to take for the champ to make a turnaround? Camille, doesn't Camille is fresh. Look, and that's the thing about Camille. She's laser focused about beating Serena Deeb. She doesn't want to do anything flashy. She doesn't want to pander the crowd. Look at Deeb fighting back. She just wants to wear down Deeb as Deeb is taking several elbows. Finally gets. Oh, that might have stunned Camille. Nope. Oh, no. Another Ooh. clubbing blow. But this is the first time in the matchup I'm actually seeing Camille struggle to get air into her system. And as soon as I say that, hook in the inside leg, two count. It's a two count. Deeb's got a lot of heart. We're, we're seeing it. We're She's seeing really it. holding her own, hanging in there. Yeah, I mean, you're seeing an ebb and flow to this. I mean, look at the body. I don't know if you guys can see just how red the, the, the back is yeah. of Serena Deeb from the blows from Camille. Yeah, you can see every one of those. Wow. On the shoulders, oh no! Oh, oh. Drive right to the turnbuckle. And that could be it. New champion right here. Go! No, Serena Deeb is not going down without a fight. That is that, not, that is not, the heart of the Serena champion. Deeb has not rehabbed her knee, recovered this long to come back and just lose the championship like that. She, it's not over yet. But when you come back from an injury like that, in a lot of cases, obviously you want that body part to heal. Yes. But it, but it, there's, we've all heard the term ring rust. Oh, yes. But you knock that ring rust off, there's still, it takes a long time for that cardio to catch it up. Does. And I, I mean, right now, Camille has ground her down, has got, has cut off her win, okay. and she has made a there mistake. There we go. Now Deep making a comeback. That is a veteran maneuver there. Seeing that Camille is all tied up in the top rope. If you can take, if you can take the foundation away from somebody that size, if you can take that go. away, yeah, if you can take that away, it's your advantage. All those things that Camille was doing, all those power things, if she doesn't have her legs, she can't do it. I mean, oh. Deeb is giving it everything she has left in her right now to try and break Camille down. Let's go. Now attacking both the legs. No. Oh, beautiful. I can't believe Camille's even standing on that. Beautiful uppercut. Just goes to what a tactician Serena Deeb is. Well, and I know I said this, I'll say it again. That is the heart of a champion right there. Serena Deep seeming to turn this match around. If only for a moment, because here comes Camille. A little, a little okay, bit quick. Okay. Oh, there we go. And look at that. In the ropes, but with a guillotine choke. Break the hold. Bring it in. Forced to break it. Serena, bring it into the ring. Oh, no. This slowly but surely. Oh, this is never done. Oh, wow. Gosh. A neck breaker on the middle rope, but look, still on her feet. Still She's on her feet. feet. Still on her feet. Nope. Deep still in control. Oh. Oh. Close line. She's got to go for the cover. She's got to go for the cover. This could be it. Oh. So close to retaining her championship. But Camille, she's hungry. She's not giving up. Not that easy. Deep somehow finding that second win in this matchup. She's giving it everything she has right now. I mean, it's very, Deeb is very impressive and to me right, right now. right back on the leg. Yep. But you see, every time she's dropping that yeah. elbow, she's, she's still feeling more pain. Yeah. She is. Every time she gives offense, she's in pain at this point. Yes. And now she got all the way to the floor. That's not, that was not a good thing. All the way to the concrete floor. That was Camille's not a good favoring that leg going after her. This, this, is, this has gotten interesting. You've got both competitors are, are hurting pretty bad here. Right in front of our audience here in the NWA arena. Camille putting Serena deep back inside. Yeah, bring it in the ring. Let's go. Come on. Bring it in. Let's go. Deep. Oh, she was right wet. She was, lying. Wow. she was lying in wait. Oh, she sure was. Delivered another dragon screw. Now, now going to work on the left arm of Camille. Wow, Deep is just so tense. We have a submission. Oh, look at that. You guys and holds. Here's one of them. That's not a good stretch. Can, can, can Camille hold on here? What do you say, Camille, huh? The octopus no. stretch is applied, That's and this could say. do it. That's right. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, no. oh but Deeb is going to, she's going to, oh, no, no. This is going to go one of two ways right now. Oh, okay. It, it looks like it's going to go Camille's way. Look yeah. at the power. Look at the strength of Camille. The steamroller. We've seen this before. This is Camille is setting it. up. She oh. is setting up that finisher. If she hits this, oh, oh my God. She's looking for it. Deep she's looking trouble. for it. Deep needs to just realize where she, where Camille is in the ring. Camille in that three-point stance. Ball out of oh, Steve with a drop kick. Oh, Whoa, last second. The drop kick to the left leg. Whoa. She's got her hook. Oh. Deep. Oh, wow. We, oh. 
Uh, She's trapped. Oh, my goodness. She had, had the arm trapped, but Camille just too strong, just too powerful, but look at her leg. Her leg buckled under her on that. Guys, this could be look, anyone's match right now. Her leg buckled, but then she got back into position. Here she is. Dee doesn't know. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. She's very, very over. Holding over. Oh, look She's at that. The leg. She's got the leg. Single leg crowd, here we go. Deeb's, this be it. Deeb's ring awareness is incredible. It's very impressive to me. She's Males leaning way, way, way back on this. Look at that. She's not even close look at the angle. Girl. The angle of the leg. Camille look at the not pain. The pain on the face. I don't think I've ever seen pain on the face of Camille like this before. Camille desperately, desperately trying to get to the ropes so that Deeb will break the hold. Can she get to the ropes? Yes, and she gets, okay. And again, you see the strength at that point. You just can't hide that. She, she was able to drag her across the ring. Wow. Hey, Serena Deeb is, is going to take that leg out. Oh, couldn't do it. Oh, Trying to set her up. And I, I think I think there's too much damage to her own leg. Camille takes oh, advantage of the injured leg. Oh, transition! Oh my gosh! A, the injured leg of Deeb. And look at Camille using her own height. Using her height oh, to her advantage to extend the leg even further. Oh, Serena Deeb's in oh. a lot of trouble right now. She's in a lot of trouble. If she taps, we have a new champion in Camille. Deep. She's got to get to the she's ropes. Caught. She's, she's caught. She's caught with ropes. everything she's got. She's trying to get to that bottom rope, but the oh, agony on the guys, face. This is so the intense. agony on the face. So Will she tap? Right now. We she got a new champion. Oh, she got the oh my goodness. Two. Guys, but the damage has already been done to Serena Deeb's leg. She got to the ropes. Yes, but the damage is done. Where will she go from here? She'll barely be able to stand, see? Oh, 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 oh the wow. veteran right there gets the pin. Shoulders down. Can we get it? Oh, my goodness. Camille up on the shoulders. Oh, another steamroller. She's flattened her. Uh, Deeb's got to know. She's got to know. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, the spear. That's got to be it. That's it. Be it. That's it. for our new NWA Women's Champion. I literally have goosebumps right now from that match. That is, wow. That is the best of women's wrestling oh right God. there. Right there. That's it, and that's the NWA. I'm just going to say right now, JTG's in control, and it looks like he's going to win this. Uh, he's stalking. He's set up get for him. it. Get him, get him, get him. For something big. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Cover, cover. This could be it right here. Hook in the inside leg. Shoulders down. Oh. Two count. I know how devastating that feels when you know you've got your opponent down, you're in control, and you think you've got the win, and right at three, right before but three, he, he kicked he, out. He thought he had it one, and I'll be honest, I thought he had it. I, I thought that too. was it right there. I don't know. I don't know where Matt, where, where he found it. The strength oh, the power out of that. Where you at? Give him a chance, JTG. Stay on it. There you go. Beautiful Muay Thai style knees. Powers him up. Incredible power by JTG. Adonis slips out the back. Oh, oh, it's a locked in. It's a locked in. Please fight, please fight. He's got to make it to the ropes. 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 Don't give up. But guys, I've never, I, I have never seen anybody come out of this. He's got it locked. He's got it locked. I have never seen anybody have the power to come out of this like Donis. I am Jesus. And you can, he's trying. He's fighting. He's doing everything. He's trying to break the break. He's trying to break the break. It's so close. Look at his fingers. They're turning white. He's breaking the grip. Yes. No, no. Adonis broke broken himself to try to keep it. He relinquished it now for pain or punishment. And, it, and to his credit, Adonis felt JTG trying to get to the ropes. And you can see his legs starting oh, to shake. He's going out. His body giving up. Uh, he's going out. And this is not a mental, this is not a mental surrender. This is his body absolutely collapsing. Physically, he is not in control. His body is now taking over and slowly starting to get weaker and weaker. I've been in that spot. What is stop, going wait, on? Stop the match! What is going on? Fred Ross is getting to What is Did, did Fred Ross just throw in the towel? Why did he do that? He had another count. Listen, I can't. The winner of this match and new NWA national champion, the masterpiece, Chris Adonis! Everybody is trying to get into the NWA, but in order to get into the NWA, you have to get wrestling training. So you gotta get training! You hit it on the head, man! You gotta be
be coached up. You got to get the right training from the right person in the right facility. You got to get somebody who's got a track record, May. Someone's been there, done that. They've headlined big, big buildings, venues all around the world, not just in Atlanta. The Omni, the Omni, the house that Austin Idol built, baby. Memphis, Tennessee, riotous crowd shaving somebody's head, the hometown hero. We all know who it is. If you want wrestling, if you want wrestling in your life, if you want to be a professional wrestler, if you want to be standing out here with May, like the Universal Heart Crowd of Austin Idol, you got to get coached up, darling. You got to come to Austin Idol's Universal Wrestling College. Go to the website, Universal Wrestling College. It's so simple. You sign up, we'll get it. We'll check you out. We'll get back to you. We will take you all the way up the mountain to the top, the pinnacle, the peak, the summit, the zenith. Austin Idol's Universal Wrestling College. Go there. First, I want to thank you for coming out here. For the last three months, you and I have went to war, brother. We have said things, we have done things that are out of character. We have basically did everything we could to get under each other's skin and throw each other off our game. When I would sit in Harley's office, he would describe to me what a champion should be. He's a man that the belt didn't make him, he made the belt. When, he, when you were world champion, you walk around this earth, you let everybody know you're the world champion. If I could offer you one piece of advice, sir, it will be the hardest but most rewarding experience of your life to carry the weight of this championship. And it was the honor of my life to be the world's champion. So now, the floor is yours. Wait, wait, wait. One of the most exciting championships in the sport of professional wrestling is the NWA World Television Championship. During this past year, Pope showed himself to be a true fighting champion, and he went to war with the Manster Tyrus, who now holds on to that television championship with a huge iron fist, which he could use to stop your heart. Let's take a look back this summer when these two forces collided on NWA power. It was Austin Idol that invented the NWA TV title. Yes, it was. That's probably yep. the only nice thing no, I'll no. ever say about it. One of the many things that he said With all due as, respect. as he passed the table earlier was, yes. was watch history, it's about to be made. And he, so he has every confidence in his guy, and you just brought up NWA history. And he just whispered something in Tyrus's ear, and I don't know what that was. I'm surprised he has the capability to whisper. To whisper. No, yeah. you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. I'm surprised we know what that whispering even means right now. Ooh, you can cut the Read tension of a knife. The way the two men are staring at each other in the ring, coming face to face. Who will strike first? Well, and when we talk about history, you, these guys have a history. I mean, this is the third one on one matchup between oh, wow. these two. And oh, already. He's coming right out of the gate. Awesome fire right off the start. Wow. Taking the fight to Tyrus. Trying to break the big man down. Smart. Going for the legs. Absolutely. Great strategy on. Great strategy from Pope. Break the giant down early on. Here, Here we go. First minute of the match, and, and Pope nice. has Tyrus on the ground. And that, wow. that, that's, that's a sign of a true that's champion that's right there. That's super impressive. Absolutely. That's super impressive. And he's just going to work on the leg of Tyrus, trying to keep him off his feet. That's a great strategy. Well, Great and, and let me go back champ. just a little bit. When we talked, when he, when he had to beat Sal Renal, we said that he didn't go after that injury. But look what he's doing right now, because he realizes the size and strength and power Absolutely advantage. Well, actually, you know what? I think he wants to punish Tyrus at this point. 
He wants a definitive victory over this man. You have to remember, Tyrus won the grudge match at When Our Shadows Fall. Obviously, he had something loaded up in his hand from Austin Idol. But Pope hasn't forgotten that. And Tyrus, he hasn't forgotten that. Ty, look at the look on Tyrus' face. You can tell he's in a lot of pain. Well, Pope already has done a lot of damage to the knee of Tyrus. But look at Pope, because I, I think at this point, you can say, these guys, Idol and Tyrus, made this personal. They did. The thing you oh, have to watch did. with that is he's being so aggressive. He can't afford to make a mistake. He's yeah. the one that picked this no time limit. He, oh. is, he can't keep it at 6.05. He can't keep it to that time limit. He makes a mistake here. Right. He can be aggressive. He can't let that take advantage of the same time, I mean, it only takes one second for Tyrus to change the tide in the matchup, especially with that devastating heart punch that we saw. Right. You can see Pope going to work on both legs of Tyrus, making sure he stays off his feet. That's very, smart very strategy. smart strategy, absolutely. Well, and he, and he also, that stomp was, was right right to the gut. Oh, uh, take yes. that, we, I talked about stamina. If you can take that wind away, take that base away, yep. he's got everything. Oh, look at Tyrus' face. He's in a lot of pain, trying to get to his feet, but he can't. The, he can't damage, any the damage has been done already. It's going to take, what's it going to take for Tyrus to get to his feet? And let's not forget about how personal this is, but also how important this is for Pope to live that dream, to have a chance to hold Sweet Charlotte, the 10 pounds of gold. He gets this victory. He can relinquish the television title to challenge Nick Aldis and for the go, 10 pounds of gold. I'm going to go back and say this is an amazing strategy by the champ. Keeping the giant off of his feet, Tyrus is unable to stand. But ooh, see, this I think this is an amazing, smart now, strategy. Now right into the cover, trying to take advantage of Tyrus. Oh, it's huge. Tyrus it's can out, but I don't know what he can do at this point. Well, He's going to have to work from the ground. With this being the seventh of the lucky seven. Uh, the, 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 the advantage there that, that you have is yes. you don't have to choose. You don't have to right now pick your opponent. It, you can at any point add that in. And this is big. This is big it's for true. both guys. This is so true. Tyrus still has a lot of power in those legs. But now Pope. You can't let him up. Oh, he's up. Oh, he's up to his feet. Not but Pope. Long. stay on his feet long, and that's a good move wow. by Pope. When you get a guy that size down, you've got to keep him down and pound him and pound him. I am so impressed. I'm going to go back and say the word by the strategy again of Pope keeping him off his feet. Yeah. Tyrus off his feet. You know, and Tyrus, we've seen him in matches before. He's used to winning very, very quickly. Oh, Tyrus right. is a dominant force, absolutely. I mean, So now he's getting into this deep water. Well, if, that, if he can last. If that's, if that's why the Pope tried to, to, to wave this and make it no time in the draw, what a genius move if that's why he did it. Because right, we can already see that coming into play. Does Tyrus have the heart of a champion? I think we're going to find that out. I, I won't question his heart. I know he has the heart of a fighter. Yes. And a fighter is never going to give up. Uh, so I don't, I don't ever see that happening. But you're right. If he runs out of gas, there is nothing you can do because I've been there. Uh, you can fight as hard as you want, but you're at a disadvantage. But the difference between oh, a fighter and a champion is a champion. Look at what Pope's doing. OK, but well, hey, let me point out. This is the Vegas level. Oh, my goodness gracious. This is the Vegas level. Oh, my goodness. This is a move that Austin oh, Idol used as a finisher. He's got it locked in, and he has locked Rubbing eyes. Rubbing in Austin Idol's He has locked face. eyes with Austin Idol. Oh, Tyrus is in a lot of trouble here. I don't see how he's going to get out of this. Think of all of the oh. legends. And now the oh, Adam Pope's got the rope, Taking too. advantage. Referee doesn't see Pope up. Austin Idol is yelling, this is my hold, this is my hold. Now, you talk about mind games. With, you Austin talk Idol. about psychology. Absolutely. He just crawled into the head of Austin Idol. As horrible as that sounds, and he flipped I, I it think this Wait is Pope making it personal. This Tyrus. is Pope making it very personal. It looks like Tyrus might get to the ropes. He's, oh, he's so close. Austin Idol trying to push the ropes. He's pushing the ropes, because the shoulders are down. Two counts. So close. Austin Idol pushing the ropes to Tyrus. He's referee sees that. And look at that. Pope trying to get the added leverage. I love it. Oh, wow. This feud has gotten so far. Shoulders down. Oh, hey, so close. If, if Pope wins this with the Vegas leg lock, if he wins this with Austin oh, Idol on the hole. I know. What a slap in the face, huh? But rightfully so. I'm sorry. Break the hole. Break the hole. That, that Vegas leg lock was in so deep. Jared Fritz needed to personally remove the hole. I don't know how Tyrus is. I don't know. Wait, like, think about, oh, think wow. About first How time. is Tyrus on his feet right if, now? If Pope gets disqualified in this, he loses this opportunity. That lucky seven is gone. Pope has been dominant this entire match. I mean, it, it, can he continue this momentum? Look at his legs, though, because he doesn't quite have that oh, same. Oh, look at that Tyrus. Oh, 
takes this one yeah, blow by the big is. man. There's the mistake, and, and we now. talked about that. We talked about if he, he can't afford, he can't be so aggressive that he makes sure. one mistake. Now the rules have been reversed. Well, now and again, he, he made this. No, 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 no,
He came up. so close, all the way to the seventh match, well, I, I'm only to be stopped by the Manster Tyrus and Austin Idol. Corino is fighting this. Oh, no, 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 not to the outside, not to the outside. Oh, thank God. He's almost in the exact same position he was when he heard that shot. Oh, he's going for the spear. Sal caught him. Sal caught him. Yeah. Brain Buster. Brain Buster. This is it. This is it. not agree with his tactics, but wow, Kobe Carino, what an athlete. Well, I think that the, 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 the Sal's team thought that that, that, that was over. Uh, he had team members turn their back walking to the curtain because he thought they were done. Well, wait a minute, what's going on here? Tom Latimer with a chair again. This guy's got to get away from chairs. Get the, he's telling Sal Renato to use the chair. Sal doesn't need that. He's fought too hard for we, that. We can't have a disqualification here. Wait, what's Colby got? Oh, Colby's got nothing! What's that brass ducks? He went to his trunks for something. I don't know. I think those were knuckle dusters. Oh, no, no, no. He's on center. Oh. The winner of this match, solidifying the victory for Team Pope and Velvet, The massive victory, perhaps the biggest victory of his entire career here on the main event of power. Think about all the things that have happened right here. You've got Pope, you've got Velvet. Pope has already lost the television championship, so I'd have to imagine, does that mean that he's gonna get a shot at his television championship again? Nobody likes it when their check engine light comes on, especially when your car is out of warranty. That can mean expensive repair bills. That's why I have CarShield. They get expensive car repairs taken care of, so I don't have to. CarShield's low monthly payments and no long-term contracts make it easy for everyone to be protected and save money when their car breaks down. Listen to your boy Ice-T and let CarShield save you from expensive repairs. You're welcome. CarShield cars go farther. Aaron Stevens, Aaron Stevens still on the is top a legal rope. man. Oh, nobody home. Baited him in. Kick to the midsection. Wait a minute. Here comes for the Wolf. Yeah. Wolf now in the corner. Here comes Stevens. Here comes Conan up on the apron. Oh, Conan. Oh, oh, whoa, oh whoa. Aaron Stevens. Referee whoa, did not whoa. see that. Oh, that was just downright dirty right there. Referee After did not. Here comes abuse. Kratos. After oh, all the man. abuse that Aaron Stevens took, and he's got to take that too. Oh, oh, double knee shot to the side of the head. All right, the tag champs are in, they're in a lot of trouble right now. Aaron Stevens is just, oh, look at the agility here. Bestia! Wow! Beautiful moonsault to the outside. Taking Kratos down to the floor. Aaron, and look Aaron at this. Stevens oh, has been picked they're up putting the him inside. in position. This could be it here. We've seen oh. this before. Oh, not good. Not good for Aaron Stevens. Oh, oh my goodness. The mark of the beast. Oh, my goodness. It's the mark of Here's the, the beast. Cover. Here's the cover. Oh, they my God. It. New champs. The of the new staff. champs. Following Trevor Murdoch's victory at NWA 73, becoming NWA World's Heavyweight Champion in front of his hometown and in front of his family, he gained new respect by the man he defeated, Nick Aldis. That bitter rivalry, it evolved into mutual respect between these two warriors, but there was no respect between Aldis and his former teammates, Tom Latimer, Chris Adonis, and Camille, strictly business. Even Latimer going so far as to try to put Aldis permanently on the shelf but the national treasure, he's awfully good at making alliances with the men that he's gone to war with in the past. Here's Nick Aldis and former World's Heavyweight Champion Tim Storm facing off with Strictly Business.
you said, I, I never would have expected to see all this in, in our own, our colleague Tim Storm team up. But like I said, I just feel like since Aldis lost the championship, it's changed him. Something, it's just humbled him in a way where he's more down to earth now, it seems. Oh, and look at that show of sportsmanship between Tom Latterman. Yes. Well, there's an enormous amount of respect that you have. With when you're going up yeah, against when your own team, teammate, right. You know, and Strictly Business, so dominant for so many years. This is going to be interesting. Look at these powerhouses. I never thought I'd see I this. Was, yeah, no. There was always that discussion when all this was the champion. Will Latimer ever challenge for it? And here we are. We're actually seeing it. The gold is not on the line because Trevor Murdoch is our champion. But this, what a fantastic main event. Keep in mind, it was Nick Aldis who defeated into the cover, defeated Tim Storm for the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship in his first reign. So when you're a tag team and then you have to wrestle one another, I mean, there's disadvantages because you, you kind of know each other's every move. Very true, very true. But here comes the X Factor here. Tim Storm taking on Chris Adonis. Not sure how familiar they are with each other, but I don't think it's going to matter. These two are brawlers to the yeah. core. Adonis with that early advantage, your NWA national champion. Tim and Storm Tim turning Storm. it right around, oh, Adonis. Man. Sometimes when he's sitting here next to us and he's wearing the suit, you forget just how much yeah, power yeah. Tim Storm has. And they just lost Tom Latimer. Tom Latimer. Tom Latimer's 250 pounds. Tim Storm don't back down to nobody. Tough as nails. With some heavy hands as well. Latimer with the reversal. Oh, referee did not see did that. Did not see. Oh, but Tim Storm, Tim Storm got it. Right. Oh, but a oh, chop block. His the chop block. We've seen that from that vicious side of Tom Latimer. I don't think he has another side. Oh, he is all viciousness. Yeah. He is all intensity. And he wants to send a message. You can see our NWA Women's World Champion, Mill on the outside. Oh, man. They are trying to yeah. incapacitate Tim Storm. Looks like Tim Storm is trying to crawl across the ring to yeah, Magnus well to make the tag, he knowing he's in a little bit of trouble right now. He needs to make a tag to Nick Aldis, who I know you've known for years. So familiar with him. You called him by his old name, but that's oh, okay. Oh, I sure did. But that's, that just shows how familiar you are with him. And it, Again, you, the roots else, run deep here right. in the NWA. My mistake. The roots run so deep. They do. And and he's another one that I've traveled the globe with back in the TNA Impact Wrestling days. I mean, so yeah, I'm, I'm very familiar with him in that in that aspect. And Tom Latimer is getting very familiar with the leg of Tim Storm. Tags made, Chris Adonis coming in. And Strictly Business is running a clinic on a former NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. And now, oh, look at the, the added pressure and those strong legs of Adonis. Drops the elbow on the inside of the leg, continuing the pain, the pressure, and also cutting Tim Storm, cutting Tim the Storm. ring in half. Of, can't get Tim Storm, it won't even get him get close to Nick Aldis. Look at the position Adonis has Tim Storm's ankle in. It's not really meant to turn that way. You can just imagine like the, the, the pain he's feeling right now on the tendons and the ligaments. But here we go, Chris Adonis, bionic elbow to the top of the head. Tim Storm still has one good leg, he gets it up. Twice, big kick to the face. But the agony's on the face, into the neck breaker. That old school fighting style of Tim Storm. Oh, uh, Tim Storm he, is clutching at his knee. He's in a lot of pain right now. He's gotta he's, work real he's, hard. He's got one leg to crawl, to make the tag, to nick all this. And here he, he is. the tag. Big clothesline to Latimer. Another big clothesline. And all this is rocking and rolling. This press here at 
the chase, shoulders down, two count. How do you think, how do you think Camille feels right now, watching from the outside, two of her, her like, team members go, having well, to wrestle well, each other? First and foremost, I'll oh, bet you know who driver. Into the cover, Adonis breaks it up. I mean, Camille being romantically involved with yeah. Tom Latimer, I mean, she's going to follow her heart. And her heart is with Tom Latimer. Her heart is with Strictly Business. It still has to be Even hard though for her. she's, she's. Now we have all. Oh. She's had a. You could call a business relationship with Nick Aldis initially being his insurance policy. Yes. But there is love between that woman and Tom Latimer. They are the real power couple here on power. Oh, what is Latimer oh, thinking? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What is Latimer thinking? Trying to roll up. Oh, no. Nick Aldis him. turns it around. Wow. The winners of this match, the team of Tim Storm and Nick Aldis. Incredible victory for the two former World Heavyweight Champions in our main event on NWA Power. In a match I don't think anyone else has ever thought that we would no, see. I never expected to see that. Strictly business defeated. The Tim Storm is, oh. There's been some damage done to his knee. soon here looks like they called this is trying to bury the hatchet I don't think Tom Latimer is trying to okay but there it is very good that's what I was hoping to see thought we'd oh, see wow. the day. Wow. I never thought Mark, we'd see the day. Mark this day on the calendar. Wait a minute. Oh, oh come, come on. on! Oh, come on, why? <laughs> Chris Adonis with the low blow. We had a beautiful moment here at the chase. And uh -oh. All oh, oh, my God! God! What did we just... Wait a minute, wait a no minute, wait way. a minute here. What just happened? You guys are brothers! You guys are brothers! What are you doing? Wait... Joe, I cannot believe what we just saw, and I cannot believe what- No, with the chair! Come on, come oh on, my God. stop it! Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh my God, chair storm! Stop this no, madness! No, don't, 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 Stop this madness, Tom! What would have made this happen? In Strictly Business, why are they turning their backs on all this? The business has completely changed. Do they not respect him anymore because he's not the champion? Oh, this is so painful to see. Oh, oh this is enough already, enough! Pile driver, center of the ring. He's doing it again? Oh, come on. He's doing it again? Come on. Tom Latimer's a madman! This is Tom ridiculous. Latimer's a madman! Oh, oh my god! Oh, enough, enough already. All this is clearly unable to defend himself at this point. Enough is enough. Tim oh. Storm trying to get back into this fight. But these wolves, these wolves now feeding at the flesh of Nick Aldis. Oh, no. Not on the uh, chair. No, Not on no, the chair. No, 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 no. Stop. Come on. No, don't do it. Oh, you son of a bitch. How could you do right that? right into the chair. How could you do that? I can't, okay, I can't watch any more of this. This is just, this is just so, so disrespectful to all this. He's, like I said, clearly unable to defend himself at this point. Never in all my oh, years in calling professional wrestling would I ever see something no, like this. This is disgusting. Two I am former disgusted. world champions completely taken out. 
and Strictly Business no. standing tall. And the folks here at St. Louis let them know how they feel. You do suck. Oh, you can see Mickey James, the wife of Nick Aldis, tending he to him. He could have career-ending injuries. Yeah. He could have career-ending injuries. That pile driver on the steel chair, they've gone too far. Strictly Business has gone yeah. too far. Yeah, that was all of that was so unnecessary. Once was unnecessary, but come on. Oh, we've got the EMTs coming out. Oh, we've got the out. medics coming out. Oh, this See, is this serious. is how bad it is, this is right now. This is, this is, Nick is just, he's just laying there lifeless. I don't even know if he's coherent Strictly right now. Strictly business now, slipping out the back door as we have our, our EMTs attend to Nick Aldis. Oh, my goodness. He could have permanent damage to his neck. You can see how Mickey James, Mickey James is crying out of concern for her husband right now. That's not her husband. We, the father of her child. That, yes, not only her husband, but yes, like you said, the father of her child. I, 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 I don't like, he's, he's oh, giving he's some bizarre convulsions right now. here. Oh my, oh my God, this is hard to watch. All right, this, is, this is really, this is scaring me right now. They, they got to get him on that stretcher. They got to get him to a hospital. They got to get him to one of the oh, finest hospitals no. that we have here in oh. St. Louis. It doesn't look like he's able to move any part of his body right now, Joe, which is very, very concerning because there's clearly lots of injuries, but we don't know t the extent of I, what is going a on. A maneuver like that, that pile driver on top of the chair, that could paralyze a person. That could end a person's oh. life. That could have, that, that could, we could be looking at the end of Nick Aldis's career right here. Oh at the gosh. hands of Strictly oh Business, my at the hands of oh, Tom Latimer he's and Chris Adonis. Jackson again, up on the shoulders! That's Valley Driver! Drives him down hard. The Great Dane is far from through. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's, what's, what's he doing? Jack Dane has something in his hand. Uh-oh. What is that? Crimson's going for the chair, but what does Jack, what does Jax have? Oh, he's got power! He's got power in his on. eyes! Power in the wound! Oh, that's got to burn the bloody oh. Somebody threw that powder in the ring. No. Is this going to be oh, in the pool? So close. Who, who threw that powder in the ring? Oh, that powder I, on the open wound. I think Jax Dane had it hidden no, somewhere no, 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 on no, no, his no. person. Is, is that What's that? That's rubbing alcohol! Stop it. You've got to be kidding me! Oh, my God. Stop. You're insane! Feels like an open cut like that. My God. He was trying to give him first aid. For over 70 years, one name has stood for history, legacy, and tradition in professional wrestling. And the centerpiece of that legacy is the original lineal heavyweight championship of the world. The one that started them all, known to many as the 10 pounds of gold. Now, by popular demand, you can own your very own symbol of excellence as the NWA has teamed up with Fandu Belts to bring you the official replica of the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. This meticulously handcrafted belt is available in two options, the original pre-2021 glory, as well as the revised 2021 version with the UK plate updated by yours truly. Own the granddaddy of them all, the 10 pounds of gold. To order, visit fandubelts.com slash NWA. Close pin. Nice kick. There we go. One, two. Oh, oh no, that she isn't. King from She's looking for the AK-47. Oh. And look at that. Use Red Velvet as a weapon. That is I not think. cool. Oh, assistant AK-47. She's not cool. One, two.
with the emotion in the ring now. Oh my gosh. The Hex realizing what's happened. I have they have made they have made history yes. here at the Chase. Yes. What an amazing moment to be a part of. For the first time since April 4th, wow. 1984, it's we have nice. NWA World Women's Tag and, Team Champion. And not only that, you have a legend, Medusa, presenting you with those titles. I mean, this has got to be like I, an out of body experience for the hat. Seriously, seriously. During the past year, the National Wrestling Alliance has attracted some of the best wrestlers in the sport to our squared circle. Some of them with very established resumes, but others who became stars with us. So let's take a look back at, by any means necessary, this mega event with Big Strong Mims as he takes on Scion. I talked to Mims before the by any means necessary started. Well, let me tell he's you confident. something. Let me tell you something. Let, finish. let me tell you about December 4th at Hard Times 2. I'll try again in a minute. December 4, Hard Times 2. Scion has stepped into a trap. He took the bait and he's going to pay for it. Joe, as you were saying. Well, as I was no. saying. No. Yeah, and, and you have to remember this matchup has no time limit that you typically see with the uh, television title, and also no disqualification for that matchup as well. One could argue that could be in Scion's favor. One could argue, but one shouldn't argue. Take your own Tell advice. Me why. Take your own advice, please. When they load oh. his butt into the back of an ambulance and haul him off to the hospital, who do you think is going to be arguing then? Answer me. You don't know, do you? You dumb foul. You guys missed that. Big I didn't miss nothing. By Mims I'm on top of everything. Didn't even face I got a six foot oh. seven, 375 pound killer with a heart punch. He's already shown what he can do. I'm just going to wait to talk. And he's going to hit it again on December the 4th. Hard times, too. But before we even get there, well, I'm Zion there. has to, well, he has to contend with Mims, and we have a Greco Roman knuckle lock. Both of these men trying to as assert their power over one another. It's like two big bulls locking horns. These two big bulls aren't as big as my manster. That's bulls. What's that? Nothing. Oh, nothing. Now, you start with that now. You're getting comfortable. You're going to go to that language. Uh, okay. Zion gets the advantage. Shoulders down. No. Mims over the bridge up on his neck. That puts a tremendous amount of pressure on your neck, Joe, when you do that. Section. Zion getting the separation now. Mims answers with a vicious chop to the chest of Zion. A little though. trash talking. European forearm. We going to blow from below here? That wasn't yes, European. We are. Blow from below. You think those would have any effect on Tyrus? Neither one of these men seem to be free. It just shows the toughness and the strength of both men. Look at that. Doesn't even phase Mims. <laughs> The thing about Scion, he has this incredible wrestling ability. His technical skills are about as good as anybody's. The only problem is he's got a little pea brain. You shouldn't talk about yourself like that. He's, no, I'm an Einstein. I'm a genius. You ought to know that. Well, you're always asking me for advice. Yeah. Don't deny it. Mims so, dumped to the outside right here in front of us. Get him away from me. Watch out, Mims. Scion looking to take flight, lands Great on the maneuver. apron. I told you Mims about the wrestling technique. Oh, wow. Went for the again. Wow. Oh, oh. Mims tripping him up. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, wow. You can feel that reverberating through this concrete floor. The impact on the apron. That is the hardest Tremendous spot. Tremendous blow. He should not have put himself in that position. That's the hardest spot of a wrestler to take a bump on is the apron. That's that pea brain I was telling you about. Why would he put himself in that position? You, you touched me again. I asked you not to touch me. Thank you. Well, Mims is looking to touch Sion with an axe handle to the back. And I think Mims now has a target. Of course he's got a target. He's put himself in such a vulnerable position. He should be in the ring wrestling. Fair and clean. lost it, see? He's lost his composure. Uh, Mims is in a little bit of You've trouble right now. You've lost your composure. You've lost your composure. You've lost your composure. Take, take 
him out of here. Do that on December the 4th and see what happens. Oh, man. This is a thinking man's game and a thinking woman's game. Never lose your composure. Him trying to get back in this ring. Zion doesn't. He can't break the count. There it is. He's got himself in jeopardy, I'll tell you that. Regardless of the outcome of this match tonight, Zion has put himself in severe jeopardy. Yeah. Wow, Rob, over there by Zion. Again? Again? Why not? Why not? No wow. way. Three times the charm. After all that damage to the oh. He got lucky. Into the cover there, shoulders down with a cross face to count. Mims just needs to find a small little window of opportunity to just take back control of the match here. I mean, he's in trouble here. Take a look at the chest of Zion. You can see how those strikes, those chops to the chest have really made an impression, literally. Why doesn't he go for a submission hold? And the brutality of this match so far. Go for a submission! Little, the brutality, do you agree? The brutality of this I'm match. Going for a tap out. out, make him tap out. Well, he's trying to put him to sleep there. I would have had the Las Vegas leg lock on him a long time ago. I wish the sleep would have really ago. worked on you, because you need to go to sleep. You need to go to with the bears. We'd have to wake you up and put you to sleep. And you can hear this crowd here in Oak Grove, Kentucky, coming alive for big, strong men. Both in a steep uh, into the back elbow. Zion just showing no remorse here tonight. These people do not like Zion. My man, Tyrus, is watching this and licking his chops. You just said Tyrus and licking in the same Licking sentence. his chops. Oh. Look at all He's that pain, that pressure to the neck. From the 16,000 square foot mansion. That's the first floor. That's just the first floor. Sign of the big Northern Lights. Wow. Oh my goodness. Licking his chops. Stop saying the word He's loud. already got that fist taped up. Use of the ropes to his advantage. He's going to bust him in that chest. I think Mim's job on December right the 4th. And we're going to rip that mask off this guy. Let's go, man. Look out of there. Got the corner. Let's go. Come on, come on. Oh, and a huge kick. Right to the face. Mims just needs to that continue. That left boot again to the cranium. You think he's an escape convict? Mims just needs to create a little bit of space here to try hiding? to recover. Try to get back in the game. Wow. Why is he hiding his face? He's an Say that. I said it. Wrestlers, I don't. You did. There's a long history of wrestlers that have worn masks. Is he in the Mask Mr. One. Have we done a check on that? Mr. Wrestling One, Mr. Wrestling Two. Have we done a, a, a Austin deep Idol, and Billy Corgan knows who Sion is. He's not an escape criminal or whatever well, he said. Well, how do you know Billy Corgan knows? Because. You think Billy Corgan knows everything? Yeah. He's not an Austin Idol. When it comes to the NWA, Billy Corgan knows an Austin Idol. That's why Austin Idol is here. Him everything. I wouldn't talk about the boss like that. I can talk about him if I want to. I got plenty oh, of money. Okay, well, he's listening right now. So well, you're, I hope you're he fired. is. Oh, wait, I bet wait. you ain't saying nothing. This just in from Billy Corgan. You're fired. Get out. Good, go. Get out. Fired. No, you're Donald fired. Trump. Get out. Goodbye. You would hate that. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Sleep with me. Oh, big hard buckle by Mims. My goodness. Again into the cover. Hooks the leg. Two count. Did he hook the arm and the leg? Can nope, you? just the leg. No, there you go. That's what I'm saying. Pea brain. What tires you out? Pea brain. What tires you out? Anything? You sometimes. Thank you. Well, I will continue to. I just said sometimes. sometimes. Not all the time. And still, Sion. But I can tolerate you. Looking back at you, I never lose my composure. I can Focus on that television back at me. championship. He's looking at a master. And He's again, looking. targeting the neck. He's he wants been advice. Targeting the neck. He wants advice from me. Oh man, the neck and the jaw of Mims yeah. tonight is not going to be good. Oh. Really softening it up. Oh, I can't wait for December 4. I can't wait. Short arm clothesline. I'm going to get there a day early. Again, but Mim standing tall. Well, try something else if he's standing tall. Mim's shaking his head. Take nope. his feet out from underneath him. Wild oh, and a belly to back suplex. Side suplex. Potato, potato. I'm not going to argue tomato. with the names, but I will tell you, a lot of that impact was, again, on the neck of Mims. Yes, it was. 
You just reiterated what Joe said. You didn't need to say that. No, well, you, about, the, about the pain on the neck. Right? You're, you're a pain in something impact. else. Oh, wow. Wait a minute, what are we seeing here? What is this? Scion. Oh, wow, look at that. This is interesting. Is That's interesting? wrestling. That's called cool. oh, wrestling. Oh, I, I know, Captain oh, Alex. Variation of a bicep cutter. Oh, wait, his shoulders Somebody are down, though. Well, oh. it's going to backfire on him. This is really new offense that we're seeing it's from great, it's, Listen, it's great wrestling, but is he going to get a pinfall? He's going to get his shoulders down again. Is he going to get a submission? Well, he's got the shoulders down. Shoulders are down. Shoulders are down. So Mims can recover, try to get back in the game here, try to regain control of this match. Is exactly what Mims did. You can't win the match with that hold. I wasn't talking about the hold. You need a Las Vegas leg lock. Okay, you, you need a heart punch. You're in a different planet right now, so just hush. Another planet? <laughs> Venus, Mars, is that what you're trying to say? Some, something like that. Something like that. Your planet hasn't even been discovered yet. You'd get kicked off of Mars. They'd send you back. Here we go, Mims. Back in the game here. Okay. Yo, so Mims coming on. Flying through. Flips him inside out. I think he's impressing this crowd. He's probably impressing Billy Corgan as well. Do you think if he could get a victory, maybe he should be the one to get a shot. Maybe so. Manster. Maybe so. Yeah, that would make better sense. Mims staying strong. At least, he's, at least he's a thinking man. Mims staying strong in this match now. Finish it Big, off. Okay. Strong slam, center take, of the ring, but he can't capitalize. Take, go for the mask. Take his mask off. Hook the inside leg, left the outside one to get to the bottom ropes. I mean, Great been, ring awareness by Sion. Demask him. There's been a lot of damage done to the jaw and the neck of Mims, as you can see, so he wasn't able to make the cover right away. Why not go for that the mask? Was the, that's why that hesitation. Happened. Take the mask and turn it around where the guy can't see. This has been a real war of attrition between these two wrestlers, these two men. Giving it their all, and by any means necessary. He's going to the mountaintop. He's going north. Come on, Mims. Get up. Get up. Get up. Is right. You're running out of time. The clock is ticking. He's running out of time. Punch to the face. Here's that inexperience, though, by him. And you can't waste time. It looks like a superplex. Is it a superplex? We're going to wait to see. It looks like it is. It's a superplex. Oh, that man. was such a hard landing. Crash and burn, hook the inside leg. Oh, I, thought that was it. Mims, I thought that was it. You know what? I gotta give it to Mims staying strong this entire match after the Tooth and vicious, nail. vicious brutal beat. Hammer and tall. Please, talk without interrupting. Please, for like a second. Now I forgot oh, I'm not here calling the match. And once again, Sion going back to the net. Trying to wear Mims down even more. He's going back to the wrestling. Oh, Mims trying to get to his feet. I dig it. There you go. Back him, in. back him into the turnbuckle. Very smart. Create that space. Oh, but Sion right back on Mims. Oh, wow. Look at the strength. The power of Sion. Death Valley driver. Tremendous power. Oh, oh no. Last second kicking. You got so impressed by Mims. I mean, I always am, but wow, is he strong in this match. He's got a lot of fight in him. The pit bull's foaming at the mouth. He's got a lot of fight in him. Zion's trying to think, what more can I do to this man to win this match? Exactly. He's frustrated. He's lost his composure. It's a thinking person's game. Always be thinking. And Mims, headbutt. Point in case. Mims is definitely still stunned. Point and case. He's come up. Ah. Oh, but Zion was able to grab the top rope, averting disaster. Oh, oh. no. Neckbreaker. What's he going for here? Yes. Uh, on him. A variation of the crossface. I believe he calls this the mask of pain. Okay. The mask of pain is locked in. Can he get to the ropes? Can he get to the ropes?
able to break it. It's the only way it looks like Mims is going to be able to get out of this hold right now. He's got a out. long way to go. He's got to get to those ropes, Joe. So much damage to the neck. No, nope, he's not giving up. He's crawling to those ropes. It might be a slow crawl, but he is making his way to those ropes. But Scion just wrenching it in even deeper, blocking Mims now from getting to the ropes. Look at that. Oh, no. Oh, he was so close. Isolating the arm. Dude, Mims oh, coming back alive. So close. Come on, Mims. He's Mims. right there. He's oh, right there. So close, so close. He's right there. Oh, no. no. Oh, just stomping on the wrist. He's like, Mims is so close. Oh, he, on, might, he might be out. He might be out. Oh, and you might be right, Joe. Oh. That's it. Sion. Oh, so close. Sion got lucky. The winner of this match. He got lucky. Should have put that hold on him in the center of the ring, and then there would have been no chance for him to even get to the ropes. But at the end of the day, Sion with a major victory as we get closer he to hard times. Oh no, no, no! You got lucky. You got lucky. Take him, please. You Take got him out of lucky. Here. You him ain't out. gonna get lucky December the fourth. You ain't gonna get lucky. You got six foot seven, 375 pounds, a devastating heart punch. That mask is coming off. Please, please. The mask is coming off. Please get rid of him. Please. It's coming off. Think about it. Think about it. You got plenty of time to think about it. Thank you so much for joining us for this year in review. The NWA is making big strides in 2022, and we want you to come along with us. Stay tuned to our social media pages for show announcements you really don't want to miss out. I'm Joe Galley. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. See you next Tuesday.